Uh, my name is Hafid Al Ghwel. I was born in Libya. I'm a Libyan American. Uh, I uh, am an advisor uh, at uh, World Bank Group, and before that, the IMF. I have been in Washington for over 30 years, and I am quite uh, active uh, uh, in Libyan and Middle East politics in the region. I think the the main issues that are driving this, especially Islamic radical terrorist groups, yeah. is the fact that um, the majority uh, of Muslim traditional Muslims have allowed them and kept silent. I think the way to fight them is from within Islam itself, not by using uh, tanks and airplanes from the West, not to make it a conflict between the West and the East. But I think reasonable Muslims need to come out and show from inside Islam that these people have no claim to make. They are using Islam in the wrong way, for the wrong purposes. Islam has never for 1,500 years um, stood for these kind of principles. Islam has been always tolerant in Turkey. Um, if Islam wasn't tolerant, you wouldn't have an Orthodox Church still left standing. Yes. In Egypt, if Islam was not accepting of Christians, you wouldn't have a Coptic Church. Right. Our history, our principle, our religion, our leaders, intellectual and philosophical leadership from Ibn Arabi to Ibn Khaldun to Ibn Rushd to Ghazali to uh, Jalaluddin Rumi to all of these people stood for a different Islam. And we need to be able to show that Islam and to point to these people and say, you don't, you don't represent us, you're not a part of it. The fight is bigger than just one country or one language or one region. It is the fight of all Muslims, doesn't matter from where, because it is now threatening the very heart and soul of the, our religion yes. and our history. Absolutely. I mean, you know, there is there is such a thing in Islamic history and Islamic philosophy as traditional Islam. It's a it's a it's an Islam that is inclusive, that accepts everybody that is uh, at peace and friendship and alliance with Jews, with Christians. It is a, a, a religion that accepts everybody, that understands that everybody has a right to have their own faith. Uh, this is very principle of the Quran itself. Yes. As long as nobody oppose, uh, imposes your, their will on you, they are free to believe whatever they want and they have every right to live equal to you. What Islam stood against was anybody to force you not to believe. But as long as they, you, you're free to be a Muslim, everybody is also free to be whatever they want. Exactly. Look at the heart of somebody like Maulana Rumi. They have all the love of every creature, not just uh, other human beings, yeah. but even animals, uh, his, his love for God. That's inside. And then there is the forms. There is a prayer or a mosque or a hijab. These are minor issues. They've never been at the heart of Islamic struggle. As for Shia and Sunni, there is no difference in Islamic no. history, never yeah. been. Yeah. As long as you pray and you fast and you pay zakah yeah. and you say la ilaha illallah Muhammad, there is no difference. It's a yeah. different school of thought. It's a, like uh, it's like the difference between Shafi'i and Maliki and the, 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 that's it. This is what even Al Azhar uh, has said in the 1970s that there is no difference between a Shia. Tell me, what was the Prophet? Was he a Sunni or a Shia? What was uh, Imam Ali? They 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 are all the same. It doesn't matter. It never mattered. It's only now when you have such certain enemies of, 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 of Islam and, and evil tyrants who want to use Islam as a way to conquer it and to divide that they have created this divide between Shun, uh, Shia and Sunni uh, to make, uh, for political reasons, has nothing to do with the religion. And I think it is time for reasonable Muslims and smart Muslims and intelligent Muslims and decent Muslims to stand up and say that, and say, this does not represent me. This is not what I believe. Uh, they, they are trying to change the very, very, very picture of Islam, the very idea of Islam. 
And I think it will be a real tragedy, not only for Muslims, but for all humanity, if one of God's great religions yeah. that has created civilizations, that has dominated the world, is allowed to be destroyed in this fashion. You know, people who speak about jihad, you know, they're blowing up uh, cafes and yeah, stupid stuff. No, people. this yeah. is the jihad. Yeah. The jihad yeah. is to defend the Islam in an intellectual way, in the right way, by bringing the truth out, by showing our history, by, uh, 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 you know, uh, showing where we stand as a nation. Islam spread because the old Muslims were very decent people. Taqwa. Sincere, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And, and when they went to even as far as China, as traders, as sheikhs, as students, people converted to Islam because they saw they were very decent moral people. We don't need to wait for the United States to fight no. for us. But it is our, our fight and we need to do it. And I think Turkey uh, in particular, because it has represented the last of the great empires and civilizations of Islam, uh, and has until today still maintained that centrality of moderation, of acceptance of all religions where Jews and Christians and Muslims and everybody can live in Turkey in peace. Um, it, it's a place that has gathered a lot of the Islamic heritage and architecture and history and sciences and so on. I think Turkey can play an incredible role in making sure to be the center of real traditional Islam, of the knowledge of Islam, instead of these radical, nonsensical uh, places that yes. are radical and closed-minded and unable to understand the world. I think the intellectual weight of Turkey, the civilizational weight of Turkey, the, um, the cent centrality of Turkish Islam, which is very traditional, very moderate, very um, the, I, and the links that Turkey has, you know, with the entire Arab world. I mean, you know, the, in, in Libya, we always joke that everybody's grandmother or grandfather is Turkish. So, you know, even, but uh, we are all connected to Turkey. Masha. And I think Turkey yeah, can brothers, play. Yes. Yeah, and Turkey, <laughs> Turkey, Turkey, Turkey can, we have a lot of, my grandmother is Turkish, a lot of uh, our families are from Turkey. So, um, Turkey can really be the center of that of that vision for a new, more uh, revived, more um, active, more more moderate intellectual Islam. Inshallah. Inshallah.